Hey friends, this is Martin Wright from Margo's Dog Training. And today we'll be looking at another clip from Rescued by Ruby. And in this clip, we'll be talking a little bit about attachment, you know, getting really attached to dogs, about the pet care industry and professionalism, and learning how to, you know, create good boundaries and expectations for ourselves as well as for our dogs. I hope that you enjoy it. Here we go. That dog looks like Ruby, right? But it's not, it's a new dog. She's had so many chances. We can't keep unadoptable dogs. She'll be put down tonight. Rick, no. It can take a while before someone as loyal and loving as a dog can commit to someone new. Nobody's given Ruby that chance. Pat, come on. One more day. I've got people I can call. Please. You have until the end of the day. But the vet comes at seven. No, I wish we could help you. We can't take any more dogs. Thank you. I just thought I'd give another try. Sorry. Hi, honey. Whoa. Can you just take Moonlight, please? Thank you. Hey, you can't do this to me. No. No, we, we got four kids. You know, and a rescue for each one. And well, plus. George and Billy and Bonnie and Moonlight. Vic, you're killing me. All right, so Pat, um, the character who is working at the kennel, uh, <laughs> I think she's actually a pretty good actress. Um, I don't know the actress's name. That's not my strength anyway with uh, movies. I don't really learn actors and actresses' names. Oh well, but she, I think she's a pretty good actress. I love the way that her face is so expressive. Um, but I know people like Pat. I know a lot of people who work in rescues who are like her, who like, it's almost a personal mission for them to save every single dog. And uh, we have to be careful you know, um, when we're, when we have that mindset that we have to save every one of them. If you look at Pat's house, she's getting close to being a borderline hoarder, you guys. That's what she is. She, she has all these animals. Um, she has spiders. She has lizards. She has snakes. She has like, I think I saw like three or four dogs. I think he said that they have a rescue for every child and they have four children. Um, you know, we're getting close there you know, to being way out of bounds. And it sounds like her husband in that little clip is like, I don't know what he does for work, but he looked like he was with the chil children and the dogs and the animals. Um, and he looked like he was at his very end. So we wanna be, you know, careful with each other, careful with our family mates, making sure that we don't put them in a position that they have too much um, going on, right? Unfortunately, we cannot save every dog. It's impossible. <laughs> Anything else? Nope, that's no. it. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Door for you. <laughs> there you go. All right. Come on. See ya. Go home. Yeah. Yeah. No. Come on. Hi. She's going with him. That's a good sign. Yeah, it's good. I'd fall apart if I got that attached to every animal here. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. So, there's something... <laughs> there's something here that I want to just touch on real quick. And that is um, the character's comment. I'd fall apart if I got to attach, that attached to every dog I work with. Now, I agree with him. Um, I'm a professional dog trainer. I love dogs. You know, I do. I love every dog, but I don't get emotionally attached to every single dog that I come in contact with. Um, I don't think that that's very healthy when you come into contact with a lot of dogs. I don't think it is. And I know that in our industry, in the dog pet care um, industry, I know that there's a lot of mental health issues. There's a lot of problems that come. And I think a lot of them come from the fact that people are getting that attached to every dog that they see um, and it causes problems. 
We want to work as professionals, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. You want to work as a professional. You want to give uh, you know, the same to every dog, the same way to every dog, but be ready to step away. When your job is done, be ready to step away. You know, um, So that's my advice to people who are starting out you know, younger in this pet care industry. Um, for pet owners, Get attached as you want to your dog. You know, that's my dogs are different. I'm very attached to my dogs and my friends' dogs. Um, my, even my clients who've been around for a while, I get attached to their dogs. But every dog, I cannot. And if I was in a shelter situation and I'm seeing hundreds of dogs a year, you know, I cannot imagine um, not having that emotional space. All right, so that's just something. If you like what you see here today, then definitely give us a thumbs up or two. You can't give two. You can only give one. But some of you have a second account. So go to that account and give a thumbs up there too. Definitely hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel with both accounts. The two accounts. That's better. Two is better than one. And if you want to learn more about Argos Dog Training or Martin Wright, check the description below. You'll see more information there. Until next time, enjoy your day and enjoy your dog.